What is going on, YouTube Averse? John Stanick from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another Viva La Vinyl classic album review. And guys, it doesn't get much more classic than this. From 2004, Trouble by Ray LaMontagne, or as I call him, Sweet Ray. This album, uh, I'm just going to say right now, I think it's one of the greatest debut albums of all time. And I know that's a pretty strong statement, especially with this being in the new millennium. But just incredible. It sounds like it could have been recorded in the 70s, and uh, that makes sense because it was produced by Ethan Johns, the son of Glenn Johns, who had produced artists like Led Zeppelin and the Rolling Stones back in the 70s. Ethan kind of following in his father's footsteps and finding these artists like uh, Ray, like Kings of Leon, who maybe you hadn't heard of before, but man, uh, Ray coming out of obscurity from Northern Maine where he worked in like a shoe factory or something, and didn't really start writing songs until his late 20s, early 30s. I think he was already 30-something when this was released. And it just shows that he's already got the experience in his songwriting. I mean, the songwriting throughout this album is top-notch. And then, of course, add to that, that amazing, raspy, soulful voice that uh, I've said many times, this guy could sing the phone book and it'd be great. I mean, just from the opening track, Trouble, you know you're in for th something special, you know, that uh, kind of acoustic guitar, but with a, a nice, really cool drumming that's very crisp and follows along with the song. And when he comes in with that trouble, oh man, it's like, it, it feels like something you've heard before, but yet you haven't. I mean, this is truly brand new. Uh, stuff here and his songwriting uh, man it doesn't get much better than songs like Jolene towards the end of this album I remember the first time I heard this record thinking oh my god like who have I found here just amazing and of course, Dolly Parton has a song called Jolene, but this is his own uh, song written from scratch. And I don't know if it's actually written from, uh, you know, actual experience with uh, doing cocaine and being in a ditch with a picture of you holding a picture of me in the pocket of your blue jeans. But I don't care because the lyrics are amazing to this track. Uh, very on the sad side, but I don't think you can get that much better. Uh, I, just one of the most well-written songs of this century and uh, just incredible. And then you've got, I mean, Shelter, one of his best romantic ballads when he sings that chorus, you know, I will shelter you. And the chord progression on that is so cool too. I just, uh, it was so fun to kind of like play guitar along with this album. I remember when it came out, you know, just pulling out an acoustic and feeling like you're right there in the room with him on songs like Shelter or Hold You In My Arms, which uh, t kind of takes it up a notch uh, as far as energy wise. A lot of the songs on here are a bit more uh, slower to mid tempo and some of them don't come off as well. Um, like Burn, All the Wild Horses is nice, but it's not one that I go back to a lot. But man, you got some other uh, cool rockers on here, like How Come, which reminds me of uh, like a little bit of like Joe Cocker, um, kind of a simple groove to it. But um, you know, his vocals are just amazing and kind of talking about some issues in the world. Uh, Forever My Friend is also a really underrated ballad that's uh, that's very upbeat, has kind of a Latin flavor to it. And man, I mean, what a way to introduce yourself to the world. Uh, you don't get many debut albums that have this many strong songs out of the gate. And of course, Sweet Ray would go on to do many other great albums, some even better than this. I know a lot of people think this is his best work, and I can definitely see that. I mean, songs like Jolene, Trouble, they're totally staples. Um, to this day of his live act and rightfully so but uh man i just you know i can remember just sitting in the living room and listening to this record all in one sitting and by the end of it i was just like speechless and uh had like my new favorite artist of uh you know current times so if you have not heard trouble yet please do so immediately um if i had to give this a grade um very strong, uh, at least 8 out of 10. I mean, it's an absolute classic, guys. you got to have it in your collection. If I had to pick my two favorite songs, I guess I would have to pick Jolene and... 
It's between trouble and shelter, but I'm going to go with shelter. I'm, I'm, I'm a ballads guy. What can I say? So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. What are your two favorite tracks off this album? If you haven't heard it yet, do yourself a favor and do that. And guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.